A few weeks ago, I started creating iOS apps and over the last 30 days, they have made around $300 in sales, mostly in-app purchases and subscription revenue. These are very simple micro apps that I've coded using Claude. I don't understand the language Swift, so I'm not sure if I would want to spend some time learning on it to build apps when I can just do it using Claude code, which is pretty epic in terms of designing and writing the code for iOS apps. I used to make apps, Android apps, around 10 years ago, which was in Java and using the Android Studio. But after that, I dove into making games and I was quite successful at it. One of my games reached around 40 million players. Again, this was coded entirely using ChatGPT around two years ago when we didn't have these agent coding tools. You can watch my entire video on how I made this game using ChatGPT, the code, the art, everything. So one day I was just scroll scrolling a lot of Twitter or X as you may call it and I saw a lot of indie developers posting like they're building these micro iOS apps and they are making some amount of decent money. So I kind of dove deeper into it and figured out what the whole idea is about. How do you make apps? How do you distribute them? ASO and everything. One of the indie devs uh, known as Adam Little, he has a YouTube channel that helped me a lot in understanding about ASO, how to distribute your apps organically, how to get traffic, how to monetize them. So if you're new to this whole app building business, I would suggest that you check it out. But after a lot of researching and pondering around whether I should build apps or not, I tried Cloud Code and started making a couple of apps back in the month of August. I tried, I failed, I gave up for a bit. But then at the end of October, I started building apps again. And I'm doing this challenge where I'm making 20 apps before 2026. So I have around 45 days now. I'm on my app number nine. The past eight apps almost failed except for one or two of them, which gave me a lot of revenue, which is why I made $300 in the past 30 days, which is not a lot, but it just gives you a good direction, a good sense of accomplishment to know that, okay, you are kind of doing the right thing in the right way. And maybe if you just do more of it, you can make a lot more of it. The first set of apps that I built were AI identifier apps. They were kind of trending. A lot of developers seemed to be good at it, but for, but for some reason for me, it didn't work out. The users would uh, download the app, subscribe for the trial and immediately cancel. And I'm not sure why. So I kind of gave up on this whole AI identifier apps thing. I found a lot more niches in which I could build apps. The whole idea is to first check whether those niches are even popular or in trend. And I use a tool called Astro for this. Uh, in which I do a lot of keyword research before even building out any app. And the next set of apps are heavily backed up on this idea that these apps have high popularity, low difficulty, and they are kind of making money. They are getting downloads organically and making money. For this, I use SenseTower. I just check up on the top uh, top ranks of those keywords, what apps are there and whether they are getting the downloads organically or if they are advertising and so on. This has been successful for me for the past couple of apps that I believe are good and I will kind of try the same approach for the upcoming apps. I talk about developing with Claude code, I find it very easy now. I have a base Xcode project which is kind of like a template. It is connected with Revenue Cat. It has a lot of basic setups like onboarding screens, paywall, subscription tracking and localization as well. So in most cases these features don't have to be rebuilt but just to refactor to the new apps requirements and context. It makes the whole process a lot more easier. I have the $100 per month plan on Cloud Code and every week uh, the limit resets. I prefer Cloud Code over Coso because Coso I found it very shady with the pricing and I just didn't find it good to make iOS apps. With Cloud Code you have a set limit and after that limit like in a week the limit resets so you really can't go o over or beyond the limit that you want. And the the whole workflow with Cloud Code is quite good. How it thinks, how it naturally solves problems, it auto builds the Xcode project, it finds the bugs, it debugs itself. It's a lot less back and forth and uh, maybe I'm just too good at it, but I'm able to one-shot many features and fix bugs and do everything a lot faster with it. And to design screenshots and ASO, I use a couple of tools like the App Launchpad, which is a paid uh, screenshot designing tool. It has helped me improve my conversion rate a lot. And for descriptions, I just use ChatGPT and I send in the keywords that I want uh, with the kind of description I want and it outputs that. So, yeah, I hope in the future maybe I'm able to cross 500 or or $1,000 MRR, which is when I can start doing this full-time and 
kind of see where it goes. It takes me around four to five hours to build an app, test it out, upload it to the app store, screenshots, description, everything. Maybe a bit longer, but around the same time. So I guess, yeah, I also have a Discord server with uh, plenty of game and app developers who discuss everything about distribution, marketing, making games using AI, distributing it to web platforms and whatnot. So feel free to join in.